Heck. All right, let's just dive into it. Uh, I had a request to try another crack at Esper Sahili. So one of the things I'm trying that's a little bit different than the last time we tried this archetype, it felt a little bit middling, is that I've slotted the Kaya's Wraths into the sideboard this time around. And we still have a smattering of like anti-creature cards that are like pretty good. So like Enter the God Eternals and Oath of Kaya are like both very good against aggressive decks. Tyrant's Corner is fine as well. And then I'm playing four copies of Soul Diviner in the main deck as both an early play that's reasonable against uh, decks like white and red aggro, but also like decent against control because it like lets us generate extra card advantage. So uh, without any further ado, let's dive on in and see how this goes. It'd be great if paper cards looked half as good as MTGA cards. You know... Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Do we get it? Do we back out? Um, it's really kind of interesting. Um, it would kind of be sweet if they, like, instead of foil cards, did full art cards or borderless cards like we have on Arena. Like, I think, I think borderless cards in paper would look... Obviously, they wouldn't be animated, but, like, if they were just, like, borderless, like these cards are, instead of being foil, that would be way cooler. Because, like, foil cards warp and are annoying. But, like, the borderless cards are just, like, really elegant and don't have those problems. I've got one cheeky Elder Spell in my main deck, and honestly, we could probably afford to even go up to two. Um, and only is Elder Spell a good hate card, but, like, this deck has a variety of, like, Narsets and Kazminias, which are Planeswalkers that, like, have only so many uses in them. So, like, Elder Spell lets us take our Planeswalkers that only have so many uses in them and, like, turn them into loyalty for things like Tefri or, like, getting more Narset activations and such. Hey, Niru, thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream this morning. Now, one thing that is worth noting in this 75 is that we're a little bit soft to search for Iskanta. The way I've got my deck configured right now, I actually don't have any Mortifies in my 75, which may or may not be a mistake. I've got a couple of D-Sparks in the sideboard, which are um, which are reasonable for like killing Wilderness Reclamations, other Planeswalkers, but I don't have a lot of good ways to interact with this. Yeah, I think I'm going to play a feather deck this weekend, Bulletproof Pope. Yep, lose a our sit there, sucks. Do I spend this just to surveil? I think I do, because I want to dig to a land or a four mana planeswalker. Like, I know this is missing. Add the land on top. Hey, Peace Smart. Good morning. This is going to flip pretty soon for them. Alright, I'm sure this is Dovin's Veto, because that's how these games go. Alright, oh, resolved. Maybe it's a D Spark or a Rest is Contempt. Sorry. Yeah, me too, Mega Vega. One of, uh, one of the reasons I'm favoring Oath of Kaya over, one of the reasons I'm favoring Oath of Kaya over Mortify is not only because it's really good against, like, the red aggro, but this is, this is a card that's reasonable because it gets to hit other Planeswalkers. Um, I'm gonna ditch the Diviner here. I think I want to ditch the Diviner because the skills opposing Planeswalkers. If they, uh, if they don't take my Tefri off the table here, um, we're actually going to get to Elder Spell our own Planeswalker and then ult this next turn, which is probably game winning. Now, if they have, like, an Elder Spell of their own in the main deck, we could be in trouble. 
It's also possible that, like, not playing any copies of Command the Dreadhorde in the 75 is wrong. I'm known for my and if they, if they tuck this in, this gets to just slam into this, which is nice. Unless they have, like, exactly Othakaya here. Because this prevents them from targeting my stuff unless they pay extra mana, which is sweet. Uh, tomorrow is going to be Modern Horizon Day. The events on Moto go live today, so I should hopefully be able to get cards on Magic Online tomorrow. Right on schedule. Always draw with Tefri before you draw a discard with Kazminia, because you want the most card options, the most card options available to you when you discard. Yeah, yeah, Othakaya is also much better than Mortify alongside uh alongside three mana Tefri, that's for sure. Unless they have an elder an elder spell to draw to, we're in a pretty good spot. If I draw a land here, I can ult my Tefri. Because I can go car and elder spell my stuff. Sweet. Actually, just gonna make a one-one. Say hello to my little friend. Yep. So again, this gives one of your planeswalkers two loyalty for every planeswalker you kill. So that was going to uh, push my Tefri up to nine, which would then down tick and give me an emblem, which is obviously very good there. Elder Spells sounds great. Uh, Enter the God Eternal is pretty slow and clunky. Um, do I want... Yeah, Tefri ult at 8. So that was going to kick him up to 9 and give us an emblem. Do I want Duresses or Vetoes? I feel like I don't want Vetoes because they're also on 3 mana Tefris. I feel like there's a possibility... That I want some duresses and maybe D Sparks. Otha Othakai is nice to keep in because it kills their heroes. And it also finishes off their planeswalkers. Maybe four is too many. Actually, maybe Tyrant Scorn's not good enough. Just leave these in as ways to kill their kill their thing. I'm gonna trade these Tyrant Scorns for duresses, I think. A lot of these, it looks like uh, my opponent. So we're gonna play Esper Hero later today, but it's an older build. The Esper Hero build that won the Grand Prix this past weekend was only playing Hero and Belthaunt as creatures. It was not playing any Thief of Sanity, which changes the dynamic of like how much removal you want to leave in post board, I think. Yeah, yeah, and that, that sequence there that you just saw that ultimately won us the game is potentially a reason to like fit a second Elder Spell into my main deck. Like, not only is it a hate card for the opponent, but, like, it basically combo kills on our side of the board in a lot of board states. Uh, we're going to be doing Modern all day tomorrow, Dan. So, uh, Ma Magic Online is back up today, but I didn't feel like playing without Horizons cards today. Basically basically feels like playing a dead format. So, rather than, rather than play a format that's not going to exist starting tomorrow, I'd rather just play Standard today. It's like it's kind of like playing standard right before rotation. It's like why? Are, it's like if the new set drops tomorrow, why are we playing standard today? Um. Yeah, I definitely just take their elder spell here. Any cards that arise? Anything is good for red white burn? Yeah, the new the new canopy land is great. Very very good. That's exciting. So, I think I lead on Sahili here. So that way these Planeswalkers can trigger uh, trigger making servos to pressure their Planeswalkers later. Hey, Dude Light. Thanks for filling out a sub-gifty. I'm 
gonna lean on this. It's gonna die to this Othakaya, but I think that's fine. Hopefully she finds me like a Karn or a Kazminia to play next turn. I know 88 ways to defeat. Keep an open mind. Huh. Elder Spell's kind of appealing. No, I don't think it's going to have that big of an impact, but I also just, like, don't have a strong desire to continue playing without the extra additions from, from the new set. Do I want Elder Spell or do I want a Karn here? I think I'm going to take the Karn. These Othakayas alongside the tokens from the Sahili should give us the ability to pressure these Tefris off the table, I think. And this is going to provide, like, a steady flow of cards for me, which is nice. So I assume even if they have a fifth... One of the nice reasons to play this here is even if they have a fifth land, they probably want to Othakaya this turn, which keeps them off of Tefri for a turn. I shall miss your company. I am gone. Alright, get a hollowed fountain. Ooh, small mistake here. Should have waited to play my land until after I plus my Karn, because Karn's giving me... It's not giving me a land. Okay. Sure. I didn't attack them for one, because I accidentally pressed my auto pass hockey, and pressing your auto pass hockey on Magic Arena means you don't get to attack. Which is different than Magic Online. Actually, actually prefer the way Moto does it. Hold that thought. So, I really like to draw a land for the turn here. I'm gonna go ahead and do this. And if they don't, if they don't have a removal spell here, we get to kill their Tefri. So I'm going to down tick Karn, which makes it 3-3. Three, three. And then we'll Sahili have this copy the Karn Struct. And now I have a Karn Struct that can attack Tefri here, which is sweet. Um, what are the odds they left a Sweeper in against us post-board? I feel like non-zero. I'd be a little bit sad if they play a Sweeper. This is this is good for us. Let's skip to the good part. That's pretty good. Um I think I'm gonna run back the Karn down tick. This copy this. Try and attack Tefri to death. We will meet again. Man, let's tap to leave up double black, but also blue. Probably should have done this pre-combat actually. And then uh, this is gonna go ahead and pick back up Othakaya here. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna pass. I'll have this eat a counter off of Karn here at end of turn. We're gonna, we're gonna close the game out very quickly here, which is which is nice. Please do not do that. Please do not do that. Shut up, Karn. <laughs> That's a really funny voice line. Please do not do that. Good choice. Ooh, double spell. Sign me up. No, 
I am not making this up as I go. I won't let you win. All right, well. They, uh, if they don't have a Kai's Wrath, this game's over. Let's slow this down. Keep up the pace. Thanks, Savage. I'm happy with what we're doing. This looks a little bit soft to command the Dreadhorde as built, but like that duck's kind of fallen out of favor. I guess I could I could play like my own copies of Command the Dreadhorde in the sideboard as a way to fight through that. But I'm not really sure that I want to do that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep playing it as is. If we're a little weak to Dreadhorde, we're a little weak to Dreadhorde. I agree, this deck does seem fun. Plays, plays a lot of cards I like. Seems a little slow, but like it's fine against a control deck, and if they're an aggro deck like Kazmenia and Enter the God Eternals, like hopefully keeps us alive on the play. Yeah, I think I think I'm playing Naya Feather. I put I put Naya Feather back into the queue for today to play it again. Today, today's gonna be my my decider basically on whether or not I play Naya Feather or or the Red Black Aristocrats. And today, if Naya Feather feels good today, I'm gonna tell the I'm going to tell Danon who's sending me the deck that I would like to play that. <clears throat> quench. Basic Island, Basic Island, Quench. Interesting. Nah, I'm just going to I'm just going to stick to the night, I think. After looking through all the all the black cards that are possible to play, I think the the green cards are just better. Yeah, some kind of mono blue brew. Oh, they could just be. It's just like mono blue tempo with uh, with quench in it. Could just be mono blue tempo with quench in it. Oh, uh, we've only played one match so far, Scholar. So I don't know that I have a very good a very good baseline. Probably greedy to bin the land here. Hey, Blast. Thanks for seven months. I appreciate it. Is Narset the bin? I think it's Narset, right? I think that's the conservative play. Like, all of these are, are technically removal spells, right? Nah, I think Oath's pretty valuable here. I'm like, Narset plays against Curious Obsession, but like they can just attack Narset. So like it's kind of like six in one hand, half dozen in the other. Now this is a matchup where the main deck Elder Spell is not particularly fantastic. I think I start with this because it doesn't die to Spell Pierce. And uh, if this gets countered, I'd rather this get countered than one of these get countered. Uh, 
Uh, Stream Decker loaded right up here. Are you referring to Deck Master? Deck Master appears to be having issues this morning. The, the mouse over thing. Appears, appears to be having server issues again. Someone, someone else just commented in their Discord that it wasn't working. Little, little Tef's pretty good in this matchup, especially when it comes to getting rid of Curious Obsession creatures. Enter, enter the God Eternals, notably not going to be enough to kill this because uh, they can fart it up to a 6-6. Six, six. Probably dead here at this point. This is this is a matchup where not having my Caius Wraths in the main deck really hurts us. I have a lot of good, a lot of good sideboard cards here. And this is notably an aggressive matchup where Enter the God Eternals isn't particularly good either, which hurts us as well. Uh, this is a matchup where Cast Menia is pretty mediocre. Her two twos don't really block anything meaningful. Maybe I'm supposed to cut Soul Diviner actually. Bring in Duress. Seems fine. Nah, Vito's usually trading down on mana, which is, like, not where you want to be. Maybe I'll leave a couple of these in as, as just smoothing. Maybe it is just Vito. Add a little bit in around the edges. A lot, of, a lot of the reasons you lose the uh, matchups like this with control decks are because you you get out-tempoed, and, like, Vito's another card that often trades down on tempo. You're, like, trying to counter things that cost less than two mana. This hand uh, is missing blue mana, but our deck only needs us. Uh, I guess we technically need blue-blue for Narset, but most of our deck is single blue. I guess the Healy needs, needs double blue, too. Never didn't have it. Yeah, blocking Trickster is pretty narrow, though. And, like, it doesn't block it the turn it comes down, and it doesn't block it if it has a Curious Obsession on it. And, like, it also just dies to our... It also just dies to our copies of Kaya's Wrath. So, like, all that, all that adds up to seemingly pretty mediocre. Yeah, so the question here is, like, do they have double protection spell? So we get to end step, cruelty, untap Kai Uthakaya. Morning, Snowstorm. As you, as you will, opponent. As you will. That's uh, unfortunate for us. Pierce me, Daddy. I have faced worse than the likes of you. Are you certain of your decision? Alright, that's a double spell. Uh, neither of those spells are particularly useful, but it is is in fact a double spell. Yes, I guess this isn't terrible. Like draws me a card and sets this back a turn. I assume this is going to give Karn a love tap here. Then the question is, do I want to trade in Karn for a Tefri? We should discuss our differences. Why 
Yeah, yeah it's a it's a bug in the latest in the latest patch. Uh, random login. Now we could see them like dive this down in response. Yep. So this is gonna die if they attack it anyway. So I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a card. And they're they're flooding a little bit, so we might have a shot here. This was this was still like a two for zero, right? Like this gained me six, and they spent two cards on it effectively. The thing I hate about Jeff's favorite leagues, I'm slowly collecting wild cards, wanting to do fun, silly stuff, and then I have feather drops. I'm three wild cards off and I'm back to zero. <laughs> sorry, sorry, not sorry. That's terrifying. So really punished for... Really punished for doing the Kaios Wrath aggressively, I guess. It's a two for one here. If they're drawn next turn is a brick, I'm gonna be in a pretty good spot. Because this'll tuck this and then I'll have Tefri on an empty board. Never a brick. I am not going to sit this one out. You need to slow down. Uh, tricky Dick. Hey, right, Tricky Dick. Tricky Dick kills the Tefri, but it also gives me two health to do so. So I like six in one hand, half dozen in the other. Scary, scary Terry's coming back up here soon. Now what? Hopefully, uh, Karn's gonna give us a uh, give us a little headway here. Is there another Merfolk trickster, or just a counter spell? So definitely in a favorable spot at this point. <clears throat> Alright, that was the that was the easy game where we were on the play. Now we have to try and win a game on the draw. Uh maybe I do want the vetoes. I don't know. That blue I know. Mono blue matchup definitely wasn't something on my radar when I was putting this together last night. As someone commented in chat earlier, this is a deck that's kind of fallen off the uh, the map a little bit. I think this is a mulligan. Our basic island is our one land in the deck that doesn't cast Kaya's Wrath, and like double Sahili's not particularly useful here. Magic sucks sometimes. London mulligans falling down, falling down, falling down. London mulligans falling down. Now, please, Watsy. I mean, like, to a degree, Bubba, Bubba Ganache, like, there's people pretty aggressively down tick their Tefri, so you can attack them. They also don't always have their three mana Tefri. There are times when they have three mana Tefri and you have, like, Spell Pierce or one of your many counters. Like in my in my experience, magic players tend to drastically overstate the impact of something like three mana Tefri on a deck like Mono Blue.
This is, uh, this is why I'm playing Othakaya over Mortify. Although it's looking like this is a matchup where I'm gonna wish I had Mortifies, huh? The opponent is likely playing Wilderness Reclamation. I assume this blast zone is on death free killing duty. Really? Okay. See Healy tokens closes like relatively quickly. Morning Vial. If they have a land, they can play Nexus of Fate. But that doesn't really accomplish a lot without a Planeswalker in play. Or a Flip Dash Cantor or anything like that. Maybe, maybe playing the Sahili there was wrong. I will fight for my friends. Some solutions must be built. to meet you. Let me aid your research. So they have 37 cards in their deck. And they get two more looks here and four more looks here if one of these isn't already an Exes of Fate. So if they take an extra turn here, I'm going to go ahead and concede. <laughs> pretty, pretty unlikely to win once they take an extra turn. Huh? 
Both the guy is probably not worth it. The rest of this seems fine. I'm bringing in the Elder Spells, not because they have a ton of Planeswalkers, but just because their Tamiyo is so important when they do. I'm gonna play this out on two rather than the Thought Erasure just to start attacking. The only thing this misses is a turn two Search Rise can't up, but I think that's fine. And actually, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just play a tap land here and pass and just hold up Fido. Because we could see Growth Spiral into untapped four mana thing. And if I Thought Erasure them and see two four mana things, I can't take both of them. So this way, if they have two four mana payoffs, I can veto the excuse me veto the first one untap thought erasure the second champion irl thank you for the five month reset i appreciate that welcome 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 back thanks for keeping me around and king bigfoot thanks for the two months hey prep thanks for the host good morning hope you had a hope you had a good stream welcome to folks coming over from purple channel hanging out playing some standard all day today yeah, that's uh that's fine much rather, much rather save these to uh, stop their payoffs, I think. Trade up on tempo. Trade trade my two mana for like their four plus mana. Alright, so really hoping to draw a land tier. So I can play this Tefri and then untap a land and hold up Vito. Because my 2-3 holds down their 2-2. Two, two. How do they win Krasis, Nissa? Uh, decks, the decks that are playing Wilder's Reclamation usually play one copy of Callus Dismissal as a win condition in game one. And then post board, they board into a variety of threats like these. Nah, I think I'm going to draw with Diviner. I think ulting Tefri is pretty unlikely. I would like to just draw three cards a turn there. They're incredibly unlikely to win if I'm drawing three cards a turn. Well, I mean, to be fair, Deckmaster's a third-party extension. If they have another Biogenic Goose here, I'm in a lot of trouble. That one, that one's beatable. Opponent, opponent also agrees we are unlikely to lose if we are drawing three cards a turn. Do I want extra ways to kill Biogenic Ooze in the post-board games? Right now I have exactly two copies of D-Spark and Tefri Domtech. Do I want like a couple copies of Obnix's Cruelty? I feel like that's not entirely unreasonable. Oh. Kazminia is a little expensive for what she does. This, uh, this kills Nissa lands too, which is nice. I think Kaya's Wrath's a little narrow. Yes, yeah, so he leaves us off counter. The problem is if it goes if it goes unchecked, they tend to have a lot of mana to pump into it. So they have, like obviously needs another blue source, but if it finds another blue source, it's very good. We've got uh, three draws to find that. I right, got one draw to find that.
This pressure is there in our set's nice if they have one on three, which is which is good for us. If we get a blue source this turn, we should be in a pretty good spot, especially with all of these lined up. And this turning off some of their cards. So, again, I feel like you want to ask yourself the question, Pickle Bolas. How do you win if the situation you're talking about happens? So, like, if I'm in a situation where Nissa's living and making creature lands, killing those creature lands probably isn't going to put me in a position to be in a winning game state. Like, I'm probably still very, very far behind in the situation you've described. I would like to call this situation 26 lands later. Magic sucks sometimes. I'm conceding here not because we're dead next turn, but because effectively we're too far behind not getting to make a play this turn that the Tamiyo is just going to bury us in their deck. So... Rather than sit here and kick and scream for a little while and die uh, like four turns from now or a dozen turns from now, we're just going to move along with our lives. We kept, we kept a three lander on the draw there, right? Let's, uh, let's calculate. It's been a while. Let's calculate how unlucky we were there. So there were 20, there were 23 lands and 50 cards. I'm taking, uh, I have what, four draws to draw a fourth land. We are 91% uh, to draw fourth land by turn four there. So it's actually not not that improbable, huh? One in one in ten times you're gonna miss your fourth land drop on the draw in your 27 land in your 26 land deck. And that that really highlights to me, you know, like looking at that computation really highlights just how much variance is pumped into magic, right? Like our deck has a lot of lands in it, and the probability of missing there is one in ten. So like one in ten games, I'm effectively just gonna lose on the spot because I didn't draw my land. You could, you could probably also argue that not drawing a Thought Erasure in those first few cards, like, if I hit a Thought Erasure in those first few cards, that also would have been fine for me. And I also missed on that. Because Thought Erasure would have given us an additional look to dig deeper. It's the chance you miss second blue by turn four. Much higher, but, like, that, like, just any land in general with the Kazminia would have been fine. Like, obviously, blue would have been ideal, but, like, we would have been still there playing Magic if we would have just drawn any land. I don't have any clean answers to this until we get post board and I have a couple of cruelties. I assume this is going to eat a lightning strike and die, but that's fine. Ted Dwyer, thank you very much for the brand new Prime support. I know there's a lot of great people making a lot of great stuff on Twitch right now. Thanks for supporting mine this month with that. She's dead, Jim. You've killed her. You, you happy with yourself? Um, huh. Oh, the guy is, like, not particularly great here. I think I just Narset. Yo, dog, I heard you like Narset, so I got you a Narset with your Narset. All right, so we're going to play Kazminia here because it encourages my opponent to haste to the Dargan next turn, and if they haste to the Dargan, enter the God Eternals kills it, which is nice. Are we just going for the double shock? Interesting. Yeah, I agree, Pickle. Naya, uh, Naya Feather's the deck I'm leaning towards playing this weekend. Uh, next next weekend, Sags. There's a there's a 5K MCQ and five thousand dollar Nerd Rage Championship trial in uh in Chicago. Yay, Karn! God bless you, game. 
Game six straw land. Good guy, good guy card. Always has, always has our back. Wow, just unbelievably punished for attacking with my 2-2. Main deck Legion War Boss. Yep. Whoa, we're leaving the card there. Deal. Deal Arena. Let's do this first. Mm, again, should have waited till after I plussed my card to see, uh, to play my land, because I could have played this tap land there. Well, tomorrow's going to be, tomorrow's not to hurt your all, your all standard jam, but tomorrow's going to be all modern. Uh, Horizons technically releases today, but it's hard to get cards on the first day because unlike Magic Arena, Magic Online has a full buy, sell, trade, secondary market, so it's a real pain in the ass to get cards. Dead next turn if no answer. I, I literally have an answer in my hand, Tumos. I'm like sitting here, sitting here on the answer. We're in, a, we're in a very reasonable spot at the moment. Very, very reasonable spot. Except when they draw that. When they draw that, we're now basically dead. <laughs> oh, magic. The highs, the highs and the lows. This attack is awful. Why, why would you attack it through? Maybe it was a misclick? Maybe they just got excited they drew a dragon and misclicked, huh? Alright, let's start by activating this. We're looking for... Ha. Huh. Ha. Huh. Hold that thought. Thought Erasure is actually an answer to the dragon because there's a three mana Tefri over here, which is sweet. Right on schedule. Trust me, I have a plan. Now, there is another dragon coming up that I have to worry about. Oh, I could have kept this thought erasure and draw stepped the dragon. Yeah, that's a good call. I always forget I always forget that line. It's just really not embedded in my brain. Uh, I mean, they're also dying relatively quickly here. They don't rip another they don't rip another storm breath uh, Skargan Hokate here. I get to draw a lot of cards next turn. Well, no, they're not. They're not getting this till next turn, Demir. So next turn, I need the answer to this. So I, I really, I really could have. Uh, our second copies of Enter the God Eternal is lethal here. Let's skip to the good part. I'm really glad. I'm really glad this is a no justice stream. You know that my life, my life is much easier when there's no justice. <laughs> so you wait until they draw, and then you do the thing. Yeah, yeah, 
All right, I feel like I feel like we kind of stole that one a little bit. I feel like feel like we uh I don't know, I don't know that we deserved to win that one, but we did. So, God bless. Um I feel like her tutus are like pretty okay blockers here on average. I get that Time Raveler was like okay in that game, but is this card like actually good in this matchup overall? I feel like Soul Diviner is also probably an okay cut when I'm bringing in Kaya's Wrath. So that's like four, four of my cuts. Yeah, I think I think this is the trim. She's she's pretty valuable as just a card advantage engine. I think I'm gonna trim a Sahili too. Just like I'm bringing in extra God Eternal, so that's another way to win the game. Yeah, they have they did have War Boss in the main. That's true, and this is a good answer to War Boss and Spellbreaker because they're pretty likely hasting there. I mean, they had Phoenix in their main deck, dude. Light. I have D Sparks and Cruelties for Phoenix, though. So it's like not too big of a deal post board. Yeah, yeah, pretty much all the all the girl decks have have like four Phoenix. One of their one of the better cards in those in those colors in the dark shape. It's like not amazing, but I think it's in the range of keepable. We don't have that many two drops in our deck, so like mulliganing for twos aggressively seems medi seems uh, mediocre. Perfect. I think I just go ahead and kill this. Keep them. Keep them off of. Well, I guess like if they Phoenix next turn, I could just D Spark it. So like maybe that's fine to just leave them. Oh, oh, there's blood in the water, you say? Hmm. Do I just, do I just oath this or do I Narset? I'm just going to oath it and keep developing my mana. Kick them, kick them while they're down. That's what I'm, that's what I'm talking about. I'm going to cast Menia this turn because I want to try and hit some land drops. Can't shock her, that costs three. Hone your control. I think it's Narset there. Like Narset's castable next turn, but I get two more shots at a fifth land. I'm like, Angel the God Eternal is like pretty messed up in this matchup. I feel like this current standard format might be one of the most interesting case studies in Magic's history about like how cyclical the answers you want from week to week has changed as the format's developed. Like I feel like we went from a point where like 4x Mortify was one of the biggest reasons to play Esper to like today I'm playing an Esper deck with zero Mortify in the 75 just because like it doesn't seem great. It's been it's been interesting to like watch that develop as like the answer decks develop their answers and like the aggressive decks adjust their threats based on the answers that the reactive decks have been playing. Correct, party but CEO. So effects effects like Narset require you to reveal the cards you're taking to keep people honest in paper magic. Yeah, I'm interested. I'm interested to see what the numbers look like after tomorrow and the YouTube numbers over the weekend because um, we're kind of we're kind of at the point in the standard season where the standard numbers are way down. So I'm interested to see like if they're down enough that like new modern hype can like encourage people like get more numbers for Moto than Arena even. 
I doubt that that's going to be the case, but we'll see. I think I actually just take Jade Light here because it's a cheap threat that pressures my Planeswalkers. And I don't know that I'm in the market for the closing power on this just yet with these other two I have in my hand. I guess I could play this next turn and then, like, curve into Kasmenia. Actually, yeah, I'm going to keep this. If I, cur if I curve this into this, that's probably not unreasonable. Hey, Selesnia Chim. Thanks for the five months. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. Give me dogs. So we are the future. Now that is a finale of glory. Sorry, I can do I can do some more mousing over on the cards that aren't uh, really format staples. Just because I know that the thing is down. The system is down. The system is down. Join my cause. Join my cause. I'm gonna play this in impulse here. Take a peekaboo at uh, what we can see. I'm gonna take another Narset here, actually. Let's get rid of that one, shall we? I'll leave Karn on top. Karn, Karn closes relatively quickly with the Sahili. Especially while my opponent's fumbling around. I watch standard mostly because it's what you do right now. If it wasn't you, I'd probably look for some other content in non-standard formats. Thanks, Strachan. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Like I said, I do. I do. I make pretty much all of the decisions on my channel that uh, are, you know, the the content that I make is all pretty data driven. So always, always look at the numbers afterwards. Um. Yeah, I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm just going to get aggressive here. I will defend. <laughs> there is great power in the future. Do I have your attention now? Hey, Corrosion. Thanks for the seven months. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome, welcome back. Now, they are going to get to make four choo-choos next turn. I guess that does that does stunt my aggression a little bit. Snuffles, thanks for the 213 sub. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. My retribution will be swift. Well, good to still have you around, Dwyer. Hope you're having a good one. Alright, let's start by plussing this. If we hit a land, we can do this, this. Probably, yeah, perfect. What do we use to power to what do we use to power diviner? Are you looking at my board right now? Do you see what I see? The planeswalkers, the planeswalkers, they are on my board. Do, 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 do. I don't I don't know why I don't know why I don't know why I went to Christmas music, but that's where that's where my head went, so I'm gonna roll with it. Alright, so do I just make another 7-7 seven, seven here and smash? Do I make do I make another seven seven here in Smash? I think so. They're gonna like make more two twos next turn. I know how to stop you. Hey. Aaron, thanks for the 38 months. That's a really long time. I appreciate you keeping me around. Welcome back. You think I think I'm okay with the three for one trade here? Huh. I guess if I attacked with everything there, they wouldn't have been able to three for one trade. Maybe that's a little better. Maybe. Before 
destruction. I could bounce Oath to Helix them, huh? Is that better than getting rid of a token? I mean, I'm probably gonna have to fight through these tokens to kill them, right? I guess that's not strictly true. There's a bunch of, there's a bunch of Oaths, or there's a bunch of Oaths left in my deck, huh? And more, and more Tefries. Maybe we just like set ourselves up to double Helix them. Don't worry, I got this. Okay. Yep. Sounds good. Hey, hey, the gang's all here. That's not true. Papa, Papa, Papa Tefri is still in the deck. And the best part about this is my opponent's playing Hearthstone, so I know my oaths are going to resolve. Don't you love having Reach in your Esper deck? I like having Reach in my Esper deck. A thunk. I want you to know that you're currently doing everything that's wrong with this format. Thanks, Burgle. I appreciate you. Everything that's wrong with this format. <laughs> um, they're probably there's probably they're probably a Nissa deck, huh? So these Elder Spells are probably worth having. Yeah, Vito probably plays. So I get that we just killed them with Oath of Kai is there, but this card actually isn't very good in this matchup, I don't think. I think I'm also going to trim a couple of Soul Diviners here just because I'm bringing in Kaya's Wrath. I don't want to have all four of my creatures while I'm bringing in the Sweeper. D-Spark. D-Spark tags Nissa, but I'm bringing in a bunch of Elder Spells through that. They likely don't have anything else that D-Spark. D Spark deals with, right? So I think I'm just gonna submit like this. That game. That game was another good example of Sahili plus Karn just being excellent closing power. Yeah, this format definitely has a lot of diverse strategies and cards. The gameplay patterns that Tefri generates, 3-mana Tefri, I don't know if I'm a fan of that being a cornerstone of the format, though. Like, Tefri kind of just, like, poops on and locks out a lot of what I would consider the fun parts of Magic. He forces, he forces you to play in a very, he forces you to play in very specific play patterns if you want to be competitive against him. Which is like almost certainly a feature and not a bug, but I don't know how I personally feel about it. Uh, looking for lands at this point. Kaya's Wrath would also be okay to clean up this board. Yeah, I feel like I feel like the little Tef beats nexus deck so we should be happy about it is is like the same thing as saying um thought seize is good against really degenerate combo decks in modern so thought seize is okay like thought seize is a rancid gameplay experience no matter how you slice it and i agree that thought seize keeps more obnoxious things in check yeah less less terrible than nexus is like like that's a low that's a low bar This might be wrong, but I'm going to play this and plus it. Because if this finds me a land for next turn, I can Tefri Hero of Dominaria, 
plus and Tyrant Scorn, which is nice. And this doesn't die to the stuff they currently have in play. That's actually a really a really interesting way to think about it, Time Lord. Do you think this I haven't I haven't thought about it from that perspective, but that's a really interesting perspective to take. Do you think this format has the similar problems to Legacy, where you must build your deck in center around certain color combinations? Huh? Alright, looking for a Kai's Wrath. Looking for a Kai's Wrath. Elder Spell. Elder Spell looking incredibly awkward here. Veto, also not particularly good. Um, I can Tefri and plus and not be dead on board. Set a, to set a low bar, we can Tefri plus and not be dead on board. Yeah, I feel, I feel like all the basic mountains just, like, disappeared off the ladder this week. Alright, dead to that one, though. Turn out it's dead to that one. Yeah, that was, that was a really clean example of, like, not having cards that answer what your opponent has going on, right? Really, really classic wrong half problem there. In fact, I'm gonna trim these diviners and one of these elder spells and bring some oaths back in, so I don't I don't risk dying to explore creature beatdown again. Yeah, I agree, Hasu. And a lot of a lot of what focuses around making the Planeswalker decks good in large part is due to three mana Tefri and the tempo that he generates. Like, like things three mana Tefri punishes you for doing. Playing playing creatures that cost two or more mana without enter the battlefield effects. Playing instant speed spells, playing counter spells. Just like, if you think about all the things he makes you sad when you do, like, the list is pretty long. And again, it really just feels like it, it's. And this is actually something we've seen before. So, um, was anybody, anybody in chat playing standard uh, when Thrag Tusk was printed? Does anybody, anybody remember Thrag Tusk? In standard. Just the trick for this. I'm sure. I'm sure we've got some people over here. Did you? Do, do people and does anybody in chat know why Thrag Tusk was printed? Does anybody? Does anybody know why Thrag Tusk was designed as a card? Yeah, Hasu, Hasu got it. Thrag Tusk was designed as a card because Thrag Tusk was designed as a card because of the card Vapor Snag out of the Delver deck. So Thrag Tusk is a phenomenal example of this effect that was printed to counteract another effect that was that was even more obnoxious, and things just kinda snowballed from there, basically. Focus on what matters. I feel like I need to hold this Kaya's Wrath as a reset button. I'm gonna ditch the Thought Erasure here, which may or may not be wrong. Enjoy your 2-2 two, two for 2 that gains 1. I've got time. And like, sorry, back to my point. So like, Thrag Tusk for Vapor Snag 
is very similar to three mana Tefri for Wilderness Reclamation, right? Like, they printed three mana Tefri. They printed three mana Tefri to keep an effect in check that was more obnoxious than three mana Tefri. And then, in doing so, they made things worse because they, they printed one thing to hose a different obnoxious thing and it put them in this awkward position. They draw a fifth land here. I'm actually in a little bit of trouble, I think. Just because Nissa this turn's kind of bad for me. This might be a bad idea. Yeah, Tammy was kind of annoying. I can't cast Vito. I can't I can't cast Vito. There's a time rambler right here. It's not it's not a legal play. In fact, we're going to take this dude and tuck him in. Together, we'll create great things, you and I. I think you will find my notes helpful. Uh, that's not that big of a deal because I have my baby Tefri here to just tempo her. <laughs> Let's slow this down. Don't worry, I got this. Okay, that's a good draw. I tapped my lands wrong though. I tapped my lands wrong though, so I can't Elder Spell their Tamiyo this turn. Uh, I get to emblem my Tefri next turn with this Elder Spell, right? I follow the tracks of the wise. So, I need to put three, I need to put six counters in here, so I need to kill three Planeswalkers. So we'll do this here, and Kazmenia, and Narset. I guess I have another Sahili. I have another Sahili. removed from time itself yeah yeah leaving narsec they have hydro increases is smart i think i'm gonna hold up veto this turn And then this Kaya's Wrath is probably GG. I won't forget our time together. There's one I'm gonna exile like three lands this turn. That won't go according to plan. Oh, I've done the hero thing. You know what? I'm not done yet. I can I can wrath at instant speed after I untap some lands here too. Should have seen that coming. Because I plus this. Elder Elder Spell letting us alt our Tefri sooner has been really, really good. It's garbage time. You don't have to go home, but you can't play. Here, do 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 do
do, do. This deck gauges life from Kaya's Wrath. It does, doesn't it? Huh. No. Uh, yeah, I didn't get a chance to uh, double check what she sent in. Zero. I'll, uh, I'll take a peek at that tonight after. Huh. So, all things considered... I felt like what we were doing here was, like, pretty reasonable overall. The Soul Diviners were, like, okay. I don't know if they were, like, four of good, though. And, like, Elder Spell, surprise, popping our own Planeswalker was, like, really good on more than one occasion. So I might cut down to three on this and go up to two of these. Maybe, maybe I'll throw, maybe I'll throw Esper Sahili back up on the website. I had a, I have a banner for it. I just didn't like the old build that we were playing, but... This felt pretty reasonable overall. Between Sahili plus Karn closing things out and Othakaya being decent and like Elder Spells giving us the surprise alts, I felt like a lot of what we had going on here was good. One of the things that I would encourage you to do if you're going to play this deck is you can kind of adjust the selection of main deck answers that I have depending on what you want to beat. So like, for instance, if you want to hedge Grohl aggro as opposed to red aggro, you could like turn these Enter the God Eternals in the main into like Kaya's Wrath or something like that, etc. And again, just to focus on these Elder Spells, say people commenting that again, I don't think this card is good because everybody's playing Planeswalkers. I think while some people are playing Planeswalkers, the reason why this card is main deckable is because it put it allows us to turn like these planeswalkers after they're used up into counters on our other planeswalkers that are useful. All right, so yeah, I think I think I like this. For people that want to grab, I threw a mortify in the sideboard to fill in that last slot because I felt like I would like at least one of that card. I'm gonna throw. Throw this one up on Stream Decker for people that want it right now. I'll probably get it re-added back to my website later. Did I take this one down? I feel like I took Esper Sahili down. I don't remember the offhand. You have Jeskai Sahili. Oh, I have a blue, blue, black friends deck up here. All right, what are we what are we doing? I'll think about the website later when we're offline. We're doing uh, some Abzan Bow up next. <laughs> 